welcome to another episode of the delicious cooking series. We're still on with our pasta series edition and I'm about to show you how to make one very mouth-watering and yummy pasta dish. So today I'm going to show you how to make vegetable fried pasta. You know how you have vegetable fried rice? Now I'm switching up things up by using pasta instead of the rice. Do you get the drift? <laughs> Let me introduce you to the ingredients. For this recipe, you need 200 grams of macaroni, two boneless chicken breasts, two eggs, two medium-sized carrots, finely diced, half a cup of sweet corn, one medium-sized green bell pepper, one medium-sized red bell pepper, a quarter cup of chopped spring onions, three scotch bonnet peppers, also known as atarodo, one medium-sized onion bulb, two garlic cloves, two cooking spoons of vegetable oil, half a teaspoon of curry powder, a quarter teaspoon of thyme, a quarter teaspoon of rosemary, half a teaspoon of chili powder, two chicken seasoning cubes, one cup of pasta water, and some salt to taste. Okay, so before we go right into the cooking process, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> go right ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Join this beautiful family so that you can learn how to make lots of mouth-watering, beautiful and yummy delicacies and increase your repertoire of recipes for your family and your friends okay so over here i already have a pot that's been heating up on medium heat what i'm going to do next really hot what i'm going to do next is just drizzle a little bit of oil into the pot about one to two tablespoons of oil and also get the oil heated up as well over here, I have some chicken, boneless chicken breast that I have cut into tiny chunks. Let's just give the oil a little bit of time. I'm just gonna saute this in a little bit of oil for about one to two minutes or until the chicken loses its pinkness. Oh, before that, I forgot. I'm supposed to season the chicken with some pepper and I'm also going to sprinkle just a little bit of salt as well, just to get things going and I'll just stir this around to combine. I always like the bite, the chicken bites when I'm having this dish or any dish whatsoever. So everything just goes around and then what I'm going to do next is just transfer this into the pot. The sizzle! <laughs> I think I'm becoming so dramatic with this sizzle. <laughs> But I can't help it. The sizzle just gives me so much life. Okay, so I'll just get this going for about one or two minutes until the breast, the chicken breast loses, loses its pinkness. Okay, it's starting to turn really white. That's exactly what you want. Just keep stirring this around. It already smells so nice in here, guys. It already smells so nice, like... Mm. How many of you are as excited as I am whenever you're cooking? Like, for me, cooking is... Ah, something of joy, like... I don't know, I can't, I can't help myself. Even when I'm not in front of the camera, I realize that when I'm cooking off the camera, or away from the camera, I still have that joy. Like there's this vibe I get, like it just makes me so happy. How many of you feel that way? Leave me a comment in the section, in the comment section below, so that I know that I'm not alone in this. Okay? <laughs> okay, so we're almost there. So I'm just going to allow this to brown a bit. I think I, should, I like it when it's a little bit brown on the outside, and then it will continue its cooking process when I add it back into the sauce. Okay, so I think this is good enough for me. I'm just going to take it out of the pot and place it on this plate right here and set it aside. I'm going to bring it back shortly. Don't worry, I'm not leaving you. I'm coming back for you. Okay. Okay, the sizzle sound is over. It was making so much noise. Okay, in the same pot, you can see all of the flavor at the bottom of the pot. So I'm gonna wake it up right now. There's oil. In the same pot, I'm just gonna drizzle another tablespoon, or sorry, two tablespoons 
of oil. You can use whatever kind of oil you like. You can use canola oil or vegetable oil or olive oil. In this case, I'm using some vegetable oil. And in this oil, I'm going to add some chopped onions. I'm using red onions for this. Give this a quick stir. I have set my heat to medium low. So that things don't burn really quickly. In here, I'm also going to throw in one garlic clove. This is a really large piece of, or clove of garlic rather. I'm just going to grate it in using my grater. I love the smell of garlic. In any dish I'm cooking, I, I always, always add garlic. Like, something I can't do. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I always like it <laughs> when the garlic comes in contact with heat. The aroma it gives is just so nice. Okay, so next up, I'm going to throw in some chopped or piney diced carrots. Now, over here, I have like a beautiful, this, these colors are just giving me so much life. These ones will come in soon, very soon, but I'm going to throw in just the diced carrots and then the chopped peppers. These are scotch bonnet peppers. And let me throw in the carrots first of all. I'm trying to ensure that I don't throw in any other vegetable piece into my pot. Okay, so the chopped carrots go in and then the chopped scotch bonnet peppers as well go in. Uh oh, one spring onion piece went into the dish. Got you, come out. No time for you to go in yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a quick stare. Look at all the beautiful colors in the pot, guys. It's giving me so much life. So what I wanna do, the reason why I added the carrots first is all, as always just to take away the crunch because carrots are really hard vegetables and I don't want it really crunchy and hard when the, the whole dish is cooked. So adding it first so that the steam can help take away some of the crunch. So let's just leave this for one minute or two minutes. And I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is just bring back the chicken pieces. Woo! Sizzle! <laughs> Stir things around. And I'm going to move all of the stuff, the contents of the pot to one side because I'm going to scramble some eggs. Over here I have two eggs that I'm just going to break open. And I'll just give it a quick whisk and just transfer everything and then just crumble it up real fast. Now this is totally optional but I always like the egg bits in my fried rice. So, I'm using it. So, okay, the eggs are almost all scrambled now. In fact, they're all scrambled now. That was really fast, right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna mix everything with the content of the pot. And what I'm going to do next is bring in the macaroni. Now I'm using some macaroni for this. Now my macaroni is really tiny, like it's in really tiny bits. But these are the smaller ones. They're, 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 they have the bigger ones. But I chose the smaller ones just because it looks um, really close. It, it looks like rice. So the macaroni. And I cooked this in some chicken stock and I also added some curry powder to it and a little bit of salt. Obviously when you're cooking your pasta you have to add salt. So I cooked this in chicken stock and some curry powder and that's why it has this yellowish color so it always gives it that fried fried pasta look <laughs> so everything is just going to go right into the pot and I didn't cook this completely now usually you cook your pasta till it's al dente but I didn't cook this till it was al dente I cooked it for about three to four minutes so it's still a little bit hard because I'm gonna add a little bit of water into it to help cook the, to help finish up the um, cooking process so I'm just going to give this a stir just to combine it's looking like fried rice, right? 
that's the whole idea guys that's the whole idea okay i think my carrots have disappeared like i'm wondering where all the carrots i put i think I, i'm using too much macaroni but that's okay i think other vegetables will complement will help complement the look in here i'm also going to throw in some seasoning cubes i'm using some chicken seasoning just to give it a um, more flavor and taste because i'm using some curry powder and i'm also going to throw in some thyme here i have some thyme and rosemary i love the smell of rosemary in my dish and of course i'm using some chili powder for some heat everything just goes go it's gonna go in and what else do i have here to add some salt as well two sprinkles will do just fine this dish is yum like yum <laughs> and okay in here i have this is the water or rather this is the liquid that i use to cook the pasta now i told you that i use some chicken stock to cook my pasta that's why it's looking this way so this is the, the, the liquid that i use to cook the pasta and i'm just going to throw in just a little bit about a cup remember i told you that the pasta the macaroni is not totally cooked so i need a little more liquid to cook it through so I'm just going to stir this around and ah, this already looks so good guys, so good. Afterwards, I'm just going to cover this with the lid and allow it to cook for another two to three or four minutes until all the flavors, the ingredients have gone into the macaroni and the macaroni is al dente. And I'll come back and show you what to do next. Can you hear the sizzle guys? I don't like a messy pot. <laughs> so I'm just, oh lord, look at how yummy this dish looks. My pasta is perfectly cooked now. And the aroma in the kitchen is fantabulous. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to quickly add all of my vegetables. I have green bell pepper here, red bell pepper. I have some spring onions and I have some sweet corn as well. So I'm going to start with the sweet corn. Just to give it some life and also a pop of color. Now notice that I'm adding the vegetables um, at the end just because I really don't want them to lose their vibrant color and of course their crunch and then their freshness. So I'm just going to stir this around. Look at that guys, look at that. This is one yummy pot of fried, vegetable fried pasta. I think I'm going to add more vegetables. All of this can go in. More sweet corn. But try as much as possible not to allow the vegetables overcrowd or overshadow the main star of the dish, which is the macaroni, okay? Oh Lord, aroma is just so beautiful. I'm not going to stir this too much. Okay, so guys, that's how easy it was to make the dish. I'm just going to give this a quick taste, as always, just so that I give you a hint of how nice this dish tastes. So just a little bit into my fork. I'm going to blow. You guys can still hear the sizzle, right? The heat is off already. But I can still hear that sizzle sound and I love it. Love, 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 love it. Blow, blow, blow. Oh gosh, I love, I love all the colors that I'm seeing right here. Mm. Dude, I just shook his head like, this girl is in heaven right now. <laughs> Like, the dish is nice, pasta is perfectly cooked, the vegetables are still just slightly crunchy, just the way, the perfect way um, that you want it, then at the seasonings, the seasoning cube, the salt, everything just balanced out, like it's just so perfect and it actually really tastes like fried rice, but the only difference is I'm using some pasta, macaroni for this. Mm. I need a chicken piece as well, oh lord. Heaven on earth. <laughs> so now you guys know how to make this dish. So if you're looking to switch, switch up things from rice, you can use macaroni for your vegetable fried rice, okay? 
go ahead and make it for your family and friends. I tell you that you will totally, totally, totally love it. And if you're ever going to recreate it, please kindly send me pictures on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I'm there as Delicious Foods. I'll see you again next time with another pasta recipe. Until then, remember to be really kind to one another. I love you all. Bye.